As your child becomes more familiar with numbers and seeing them represented in different ways, they will start to recognise how many objects there are in a small group without having to count them. Take these counters. Without counting them, I know that there are six counters. This is because they are positioned in a pattern that I recognise. It may be that I recognise them as being similar to six dots on a dice, or that I see two groups of three and automatically recognise that this makes six but I look at them and know there are six. Increasing your child's familiarity with representations of numbers through playing games and building activities into your day-to-day -day routines will really help them to recognise different ways to represent numbers without having to count them. Collect some small objects from around the house. They will need to fit in a tray, so things like a pencil sharpener, jewellery, counters, toy cars, etc. are great. Place the objects on a tray and ask your child to look at them for 10 seconds, then cover the objects. Ask your child to say how many objects were on the tray. Start with just two or three objects and increase the number by one each time. Your child will picture the objects on the tray in their mind and begin to recognise the number of objects without counting them. So I've hidden some objects mm -hmm. and I want you to help me count them, okay? Okay. So, are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. And they're gone again. So how many were there? Three. Three, let's check. Can you count them? One, two, three. Excellent, now I'm gonna put some more objects in there, okay? Yeah, mm -hmm. and now I'm gonna hide them again. Can you tell me how many there are? Four. How do you know? Because three and one is four. Three and one is four, let's check, shall we? Mm -hmm. So how many are there? One, two, three, four. Perfect. When your child feels confident with this, take one object away and ask them how many objects there are now. Playing board games like Snakes and Ladders is a great way of encouraging your child to practice counting and familiarising them with symbols that represent numbers. These are called numerals. The patterns representing the numbers 1 to 6 on dice are consistent no matter what game you are playing, and it's a great way for your child to begin to recognise representations of number without counting them. Eventually, they will instantly recognise that dots in this pattern represent 3, and dots in this arrangement represent 6. So let's count them. Can you one, count them on here? One, oh. one, two, three, four, five, six. And then move on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so it's my turn now. How many do you think I'm going to get? How many is that? Two. two. So let's move one, two. You will also find that as your child becomes more familiar working with numbers, they will begin to know how many spaces to move without counting them. What number is this? Three. Three. Okay, let's move three. Oh no. no. This is a skill your child will only learn through repeated exposure to numbers, and playing board games is a great way you can do this together. And the best bit is, they will enjoy learning. Yes, six. six. Oh, no! Ah, oh, you're at six. I'm at sixteen. No, no, eleven. You're at eleven.